Hello testers. In the last video, we have seen creating the base page. I would say base spec page, where we have moved all the variables, especially the page part, right? We have created before and after books, and then we exported it, and we imported it and used it the same. And we were facing the problem here, right? So I we just added the uh, expect from the playwright test and then we are making sure that it's visible so that expect will you know handle the flaky things so it will wait and then it will make sure that it is visible if we try to run it and it should pass so last time this is where the test case got failed uh, not the npm install it should be npm test One second, DIR. Okay, we have to go a little bit further. Cucumber.ts, DIR. Okay, this is where the project exists, right? So simply say npm test. So we are in the wrong directory actually. So let's try running it and see. So it is launching the browser. Then log in and then log out. Seems like no luck. Now let's see what is the issue this time. Okay, one is passed, the other one is failed. Time out five seconds. Let's try to wait for it. Say less and run. I think we have to add the weight. Control C. Run again. Log in, wait for that element, log out, continue. Second test, log in, wait for the edit your account information, continue, and then it got passed. So nothing to worry about, we are just waiting for this particular element. So yeah, this is not our primary objective, we are just holding it. So now it's time for us to uh move the base page to the different place because this serves as a core library right let's try to rename it first or else first try to move to core page and then it is asking because we are using this base page in different places home page and login page so we are importing so obviously we have to update the import statement that we have written because the folder structure has been changed visual studio code will automatically give you the suggestion to make it automatically do it now i will say no i just want to show you how we can do it manually right before that let's try to rename this rename you can say core or just core lib should be fine so now import the same thing from core lib slash core lib spec the error is gone come over here same error just import from the core lib slash core lib now if you run the program 
the same thing will happen nothing much we just change the core leaf but if you run the program it will fail the reason is in the cucumber json we specified the glues this place and we can add even more because if you run it it will fail because it is not it it may not be able to find out this hooks because these are all present under the end to end test core lib we have to specify that part so here we can provide multiple options right so you can simply say end to end tests followed by core lib slash i just want to refer to only one file right so because in this the other files will come which is not part of any glue so should be good cls and try running it it should pass without any issue login wait for an element log out good i think we are good over here so two tests got passed so to summarize in this session we didn't do anything much so we simply renamed this to core lib and then move to core lib folder and updated the import statements and one important thing we have to update our glues path also because this is where the before and after hooks came and in future we will be having before all after all as well right so apart from that we seen uh, waiting for an element we'll see in the future working with the core playwright methods how to wait how to uh, you know asset and all but this playlist is purely is going to be basic framework so that's all for this particular video thanks for watching